Okay, so today then, as you can see, the weather is absolutely minging outside. So I have to do it in my illustrious car port. As you can see, bands are on the floor, all the way to go. And what I'll do is I'll give you a brief demonstration because most of the time I just talk you through stuff and don't actually say exactly what it is that I'm doing or how to sort of do it. So some exercise you might not be aware of how they are done. So this bit is very much based on your anaerobic part, okay? There is other energy systems that we have, this creatine phosphate and also your aerobic one after Instagram on one of those pages. I will give you a little bit more info on those, how those energy systems work. But this, like I say, is perfect for the sort of winter times. Again, it can be modified, reduced down in time. I'll explain at the end when I sort of re-uptake on an Instagram uh, sort of feedback on how the session fundamentally went. But what I'm gonna do with, start with, is a three minute bike. You can do it in terms of a run. You could do it in terms of shuttle runs. Anywhere you wanna do is a three minutes in terms of how it's done. It's one minute on, one minute off, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, flat out when you are on them. When you jump off, you'll start a certain sequence. One will just be your simple V press ups. So let me just sort of give you a swift demonstration. So V press up will be into this position. Legs nice and still, and press there. All right, so you're working your shoulder by there. If it's too hard, move it out to give a little bit more of an angle. From there, you've got, I'm using the amp roller, straight out, straight back, 10 times of them. V press ups, do 25, 10 of them. The other part then will be a sit down, shoulder press, I'm using resistant bands. I go straight back, and that resistant bands is 20. Back onto the bike, but this time it's three minutes, but 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. So really working that anaerobic. When you're on, you're giving it everything. When you come off, you go back on, do 25 V press, V sit ups, or V press ups, so 10 ab rolls, 20 shoulder press, and this time 10 lat raises. So with my resistance bands, it's up like that. Try and get the shoulder nice and far. No, too high, don't overextend it, okay, in terms of over flexion. All right, just keep it nice and parallel there. 10 of them on each side. Back to the bike, three minutes again, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Come back off, 25 um, the, the press ups, 10 abs, um, 20 shoulder press, 10 lat raises, and then 10 front raises either side. Okay, again, same principle as a lap, but keep it straight. Back onto the bike, three minutes. Same detail, on and off 30 seconds. Back off, same sequence again, but this time you're finishing with upright rows, of which you do 12 of them. And then back to the bike, we'll do five minutes uphill. You can modify it in terms of doing five minutes uh, circuit running around the block. You can do it in terms of perhaps finding a hill. You could do whatever you see fit CV wise. It could be straight onto your bike and bomb burst off for five minutes. It doesn't have to be flat out, but such bring up the gears, things like that, to sort of increase that intensity. All right, so in total then, at the end, make sure you have a three minute warm down, three minutes starts to cool up, three minute warm down at the end. 36 minutes, give or take, sweet.